morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. So, we're here today because it's incumbent upon all New Yorkers to stand up for the NYPD officers. Every day, through the stifling heat and freezing cold, through storms, through natural disasters, and through the most difficult times, NYPD officers are out there on the street protecting us. Now we need to stand up for their rights. Their right to afford to put food on the table, their right to be able to clothe their children, their right to afford to pay rent in downstate New York where they are required to live. An NYPD police officer's job is not your typical nine to five job. It's seven days a week, 24 hours a day. NYPD officers do more than just one job of being a police officer. They are medical first responders, they are counter-terrorism specialists, they are social workers, they are investigators, they are diplomats, they are peacemakers, they are family therapists, and so much more that is not part of the job description. They are the shoulder that people cry on during the hardest moments of their lives. They are community partners and they are mentors and role models for the children they watch over. And these are guys who are only asking for one salary. But that salary should be fair and it should be on par with what other departments are paying. You know, Mr. May de Blasio promised to create 100,000 well-paying jobs in New York City within 10 years. He himself defined well-paying jobs as $50,000 or more per year. In the New York Times, it was quoted, the mayor, say, the mayor saying, we have to drive up incomes. That means actually helping people to get the, the kind of jobs that allow you to afford to live here in New York City. And those are good paying jobs. Yet some police officers who have one of the most dangerous jobs in the city of New York don't even get to get that much. Start here, Mr. Mayor. Start with the NYPD and start right now. Fair pay, no more play. Fair pay, no more play. Fair pay, no more play. NYPD officers started, starting out with only $42,000 a year after being in the force for five and a half years, his salary is raised to $85,000. By five and a half years on the job, officers in other states are earning at least $15,000 more than that. State troopers earn $20,000 more than the NYPD officers. Port Authority officers earn $32,000 more, and Suffolk County police officers earn a whopping $54,000 more than NYPD officers. That is 63% more than an NYPD officer with more than five years on the job. At retirement, after 25 years serving the city, you might think that officers are finally being paid a salary that is equal to their peers in other departments. Well, no. They are not. After 25 years, NYPD officers are still being paid as much as $50,000 less than any other cop in New York State. As city council members, we are paid a salary that is nearly double what a police officer is paid. And we don't have to worry about making it to see our families every night. The worst we get as an elected official is getting eggs thrown at us. An officer gets bullets shot at them. NYPD officers have a stressful, difficult, and dangerous job. Mayor de Blasio should pay them a salary that means that they don't have to sit down and think about how they're gonna pay the bills each and every month. Mayor de Blasio should pay them a salary that means the kids don't have to wear the same pair of shoes for two straight years in a row. Mayor de Blasio should pay them a salary that means the police officers shouldn't worry about every day about how to pay the rent, buy essentials, care for the elderly and put food on the table. Nearly 18 years ago, just a few steps away from here, we're standing here 
NYPD personnel responded to the Twin Towers in a deadly 9-11 attack. With no regard for their personal safety, they courageously joined firefighters, Port Authority police officers, and emergency medical responders in saving thousands of lives. The NYPD lost 23 police officers on 9-11, and more continue to be lost to this day due to 9-11 related illnesses. For this and for the work they do each and every day, we owe them a debt of gratitude. They deserve a salary that reflects the sacrifice they make for our city each and every day. Enough with the talk. It's time for New York City to walk the walk. Thank you to all the police officers who are here today for your service and bravery for our city. And thanks to my colleague, the Public Safety Chairman Donovan Richards for stepping up and standing with us as well as all my colleagues, the 34 members who have signed on to take a stand today to fight for New York's finest. I have a letter here that, I, that I'm gonna show everyone today. It's signed by 34 of my colleagues. And let me just tell you something. This is the first time ever here in the city of New York that we have a super majority in the city council that signed yeah. by one issue. But here today we all agree that the NYPD officers need fair play. NYPD officers need fair play. At this time I'd like to call up the president of the PBA, Patrick Lynch. Hello! First, first I'd like to thank on behalf of every one of these police officers. Some of them just came out of radio pause after finishing a late talk. Some will end this rally today and get behind the wheel of a radio car to go out and protect our right to do this. But on their behalf, I want to thank the council members, those that stand here, those that signed that letter, those we hope to get to sign this letter. I want to thank them for having the courage to stand with New York City police officers on these great steps and say, let's treat our police officers fairly. Let's treat them as professionals and let's pay them so they can do both. On the way over here, I had the opportunity to walk over with a New York State trooper, knowing that they were making upwards of 30% more than a New York City police officer while patrolling the same streets. Many of our members took the subway and the railroad and came here today and rode with MTA police officers protecting them getting paid 30% more and working a better and safer schedule in charge. Why is it that those in this building constantly stand on the shoulders of New York City police officers? They thank us for keeping the city uh, safe, but after saying that, refuse to pay us so we can continue to do that job. Why is it that this city could waste money on program after program, but then tell these police officers who are members of our communities that we're broke, we can't afford you? Why is it that the city of New York, the mayor's office, will not sit down and pay us professionally? Why is it they're willing to waste more money by trading our younger police officers who then move on to other better paying jurisdictions and end up standing on the same street corner, riding the same subway car, but are getting paid 30% less. It's outrageous. Put the money behind your words. Don't come to our funerals and bow your head and say how wonderful we are, but then refuse to help us take care of our families. Realize every New York City police officer chooses to put that shield on their chest and an eight-point cap on their head. Our families don't, but they suffer more than we do. Allow us to take care of our family. Allow us to rear our family in the communities that we serve. Allow us to send them to the schools that we, we, we struggle to make better. Pay us 
so generation after generation of police officers can stay in the city we were born and reared in. Pay us so we can set up our children to stay here in this proud city. New York City police officers put themselves at risk each and every day on behalf of folks they don't even know. This is not an issue that's Republican or Democrat, conservative or progressive. This is a right and wrong issue. It's right for the people of the city of New York. It's right for the budget of the city of New York. While walking across this plaza, a police officer came to me and said, when the mayor asks for givebacks, take them by the hand. Bring them to Battery Park, bring them to Albany, bring them to the entranceway, the lobby of one police plaza, and point to the wall, point to the hero's wall, point to the police officers that gave their lives for this city, and then bring them to their homes and show them the family that's left behind. We ask the public, please support us. Support our council members that have the courage to come out here. Support our children so we can pay the bills, buy them shoes, put food on the table, live in the same neighborhood, and send them to school. It's a simple request. It can be done, but that side of City Hall refuses to do it. Again, council members, I appreciate each and every one of you having the courage to stand out here with each and every one of us. Thank you. Back in 2017, you had approximately a thousand offices waiting a line at the pension board. New York City, it cost us about $50,000 to train an officer. You take a thousand times fifty thousand dollars, and you have fifty million dollars. Let's reinvest that money into our offices, so they shouldn't have to leave New York City only to go work for another state. So let's send a message to Mayor De Blasio once and for all that we must have fair pay to our New York City police officers. At this time, I'd like to call upon my colleague from Queens, Council Member Barry Prudentchik. Thank you, Chaim, and thank you uh, to Pat Lynch, the President of PPA, and thank you to all of you who are here today to demand fairness and equity for what you do. For the past two years, I have been at the memorial service for first grade detective Brian Moore, who was killed just a short distance from where I live. And every time I visit the 105 precinct, I see a memorial for him on the street sign. I see the memorial garden that was created across the street in his memory at PS33 by the young people there. We're asking for fairness. My father used to tell me equal time, God rest his soul. All we're asking for for the men and women of the NYPD is simple fairness. A starting salary in the mid 40s is laughable for people who put on a vest, put on a uniform, and walk the streets of New York. I'm old enough to remember the days when it was dangerous to walk in many or most parts of this city. It is thanks to the efforts of a generation of NYPD officers and their families backing them that we have reclaimed this city and we look around and see the greatness. Everywhere you look, people are building, people want to be in New York City, and that is because we have put crime down to record low levels. It is only fair that we do what is right for the men and women of the NYPD. Thank you all for being here today. So having the supermajority of the New York Council to sign on to a letter to send a message to Mayor de Blasio speaks for itself. I mean, you guys and girls of the New York City Police Department are doing an amazing, amazing job, and we appreciate it. So thank you. At this time, I'd like to call up my colleague. Good morning to the men and women of the greatest police force in the whole country. Yeah. I am 
Councilmember Ballone and the Ballone family has always stood with you. I am proud to stand with you today. We will stand with you always. And sometimes we have to ask who's not standing with us today. Because you have to be here today because you're with us every day. So I say thank you. As a father of three children, as someone who's chose to lead, I say thank you for, on behalf of all of us to give us that ability to do that. You're the ones on the line every day. You are the ones that face situations that none of us do. We ask you to do more every day. We put burden upon burden upon the NYPD and we don't show you the support you deserve. So what do we need? We need to show the respect to the NYPD by giving them the fair pay that they deserve. If you look at the eight closest jurisdictions around us, are we first? No. Are we second? No. We're eighth. We're last. How can we show the respect to our men and women of the NYPD if we pay them the least amount of money of the eighth closest jurisdiction? Does that make any sense? No. no. That's what we have to do by standing up and fighting for the men and women of the NYPD and showing them the respect that they deserve. So thank you to Chaim Deutsch, thank you to Pat Lynch, thank you to everyone here. And by the way, little Alexandria is down here with her father and her mom with her sign saying, support our heroes. Let's hear it for little Alexandria. Yeah. Despite the record low levels of crime, I think the job is more challenging and difficult than ever. And I think that that needs to be acknowledged, it needs to be respected, and you need to be compensated for it. I really urge you, Mayor de Blasio, to get to the table and get this issue resolved so the men and women can go back and do their work and focus on what really needs, what matters to this city. So thank you. Thank, thank you, sir. Pat. Thank, thank you. you. cities in the world, in the greatest city in the world, no person should have to work more than one job to make ends meet. No person should have to work more than, no person who works 40 hours a week should be living in poverty. I'm hearing more and more and more from men and women who are on the job that they have to work two, three jobs to make ends meet. This is not right. It takes an extraordinary amount of courage to be a police officer in this city. To tell these men and women who keep us safe every day, no questions asked, that they gotta work overtime, they gotta work two jobs, three jobs, 
to support their family is a shame on this city. I will do everything that I can on our side of City Hall. The City Council will do everything it can to make sure that this is the year that the New York City cops finally get paid what the state troopers get paid, what the PAPD get paid. Don't tell me that these guys don't have a harder job than those guys. It's not right to be pitting different first responders against each other. It's not right to pit different police forces against each other. Enough is enough. Don't tell me you're a union guy if you don't support the cops in the PBA. Thank you so much. election and running for office, the first thing they do is to attack the most scrutinized agency in the city of New York, and that is the New York City Police Department. And my message to everyone here is, is that stand up, family members, neighbors, acquaintances, people need to stand up and raise their voice. Our voices need to be heard loud and clear. If you're going to sit back with suntan lotion and think that the city is going to be running on its own by those who are vocal and slamming the NYPD each and every day for their own personal reasons, we should not, um, we cannot let that happen. We cannot tolerate that, and we need to stand up. NYPD offices are restricted most of the time from coming to these press conferences and events. Have your family members, your friends, <coughs> your neighbors, have them come out and speak out. We need to make sure that our city does not go back. We need to move forward. The only way to do that is to, to support those who protect us each and every day. So once again, I want to thank everyone for being out here today, for showing your support. I want to thank my colleagues. I want to thank uh, my colleague, uh, Councilmember Donovan Richard, the Chair of the Public Safety Committee, as well as the former Chair of the Public Safety Committee, Vanessa Gibson. So thank you all very much. This is just the beginning. And finally, I want to thank Pat Lynch uh, for working with the Council each and every day, uh, for being in touch with us, for making sure that today today's message happens. I will be delivering this letter today as soon as we're done to Mayor de Blasio. I don't think he's in there. He's probably someplace. He's at the gym. He's sleeping. He's sleeping. Well, there he is. I will be working in on that side of the building, on the dark side, and delivering this letter. So I want to thank you all and thank you for everything you do each and every day. Thank you. Thank you. Here we go. Fair play, no more play. 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 Fair play. Taking any questions? Questions. How long have you guys been working without a contract? We've been working without a contract since. Uh, what's what's significant here? What's the exact months? August will be two years. August will be two years. What's significant here is that we've been in this process as soon as we signed the last contract with the mayor of the city of New York. He's proved he can do it if he has a willingness to do it. If he has a willingness to make public safety a priority. To make public safety a priority, you have to make the police officers a priority. So we're now in the process of going to herb arbitration. What we say to the mayor is we all know the rules. Come back to the table, sit at the table, realistically negotiate with us so we can both resolve this for our members, for the people of the city of New York, and for his administration. It can be done. Two years is far too long for these members to wait to pay the rent. What kind of support are you getting from other public sector unions? Like we always get those to support from the other unions. 
because any union leader always asks for the same thing, fairness in any process. What we're saying is, look at New York City police officers, pay us a market rate of pay, pay us as professionals. No union would have a dispute with that because each and every one of us want our members to be able to pay, to get paid, to live, to eat, to go to school, to go to religious services in the city we protect. Every union has that mission. Hey, you, uh, this is obviously quite a show of support from the council, but what do you say to those who have not signed on? To this Why program? aren't you here? Right. Why aren't you on the letter? Again, it's not progressive, it's not conservative, it's right and wrong. Are you saying you don't believe in paying police officers? We constantly hear, give us a better educated police officer. Give us a more professional police officer. Give us a police officer that lives in the community. Are you against those things? Are you just talking? Put something behind those words. Sign that letter. Stand on these steps. I'm not saying we're always going to agree on every issue. That's not realistic. But what is realistic, it's that it's police officers to keep, that keep us safe so we can have that dialogue, we can have that debate. They, these police officers will respect any opinion that comes out of this building. Why is it your opinion doesn't say, pay our police officers for the work they've done, the work they're doing today, and equally important, the work they're gonna do tomorrow. We oftentimes talk about September 11th when this city, our families, your families lost so much. Well, let's go back. Let's look at the news clips. Let's look at who is running towards those buildings, knowing they may not come back. Let's think of the police officers that today are struggling to breathe. Because we should think about that, because we're always a step away from it happening again. And these police officers would run off these steps. The way to say thank you for that is in their paycheck and pay them respectfully. Especially the 91 billion dollar budget. That's right. A 91 million dollar budget. Billion. I'd like to introduce Councilman Matthew Eugene from Brooklyn. Thank you. Thank you. It is not only an honor for me to be here, but I believe this is my responsibility to be here. I want first and foremost to take the opportunity to commend and thank Councilmember Dodge for taking the lead to bring us together to stand for people who every single day stand for all of us in New York City. Today, what we are doing is not only for the police officers, it is for New York City, it is for all of us. We in government, we are talking about quality of life. There will be no quality of life without the services that you are doing for the city of New York. All of us, we have to go to work. Doctors, nurses, elected officials, taxi drivers, but it will be impossible for us to work, to continue to work together to make New York City such a wonderful city without the police officers. Day in and day out, every day, every minute, every second, they are there to give us the security and the protection that we need to fulfill our obligation, regardless of what you are doing for the city of New York. It is very important. It is our responsibility to stand for them also, to make sure they receive the salary that they deserve. We shouldn't be here to discuss and to fight for them. We shouldn't do that. But we have to do it because this is the right thing to do. We demand justice for them. They have to be paid the proper salary. Because if we don't do that, we are all going to be in trouble. You deserve it. And I want to say that I will stand with you, with my colleagues, until we get justice. Because all of us, every single day,
questions? Good. Thank, Thank you, you, everybody.